I have a new obsession, which is called Geisler tubes. They look like this, this, or even this. They were invented in 1850 something, 57 probably, by this guy, you know, Geisler. And let me tell you why I'm so excited about it. For me, the secret to learn to do new things is like having a purpose. It's like, that's why I wasn't great at school because I didn't know why I had to learn all that stuff. And this is why Geisler cubes, they look so cool. They are so amazing. And they have so many skills attached to be able to make one that I'm super excited to learn those skills. One is, well, I had to learn a lot of physics, uh, electricity stuff. And one that I'm super excited about, it's also glass blowing, you know, working with glass, melting glass, all that stuff. Super excited, which is gonna be critical if I wanna make one of those. But also for me, to learn new skills and to, to learn new things, you need to keep the excitement going. And to do that, you have to have progress. You need to see progress down the line so your excitement is still on and you keep learning. So the purpose of today is getting that first spark, which is uh, pun intended, that first spark of excitement, then that will lead me to the next step to learn new things. Little bit of theory. Geisler tubes are what basically paved the road for neon lights. And you have some sort of tube, a glass tube, and it's filled with some sort of gas, right? And basically you heat it with high voltage. We're talking about at least like 4,000 volts. And the voltage, the high voltage ionized this gas and the ions recombines and, and give out energy basically. like this shit happens here like this uh i, I don't want to explain like the the, the theory here because it's super complicated and this channel is not about that but the theory is that also different gas gives different wavelength and the wavelength is basically what color emits like in neon i think the neon gas uh, gives out red at like normal at normal pressure but this is this is what i want to try because different gases give out different wavelengths but also different pressure now what i want to try in order to have you know that excitement going is doing with what i have which is normal like plastic tubes i kind of think like okay these videos can have three outcomes the first one is that nothing that i'm excited about works so i don't have a video but Probably I'm gonna tell you why it didn't work. I don't know. The second one is that it's gonna work and I'm gonna be super excited and I wanna learn all the other stuff. The third one is that I'm gonna die because this involves high voltage. And I know high voltage doesn't kill, but what I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna tell you how to make that thing because I'm pretty sure someone's gonna die because of me, but I'm gonna use high voltage and pretty high amperage, which is zero. Uh, 100 milli, 100 milliamps that at 10,000 volts, if you know anything about it, it's gonna kill me instantly. Uh, so at least it's not gonna be nice. So, you know, yeah, this is the three outcomes that can happen. I wanna pull a vacuum in this tube. I have a vacuum pump. So the air inside it is gonna be rarefied, rarefied. It's gonna be this and I'm gonna hit it with high voltage from the two ends and if anything is gonna happen, it's gonna be super cool because this is gonna glow. So let's do that. Okay, I just cut out a couple of things because it was actually harder than I expected to pull the, the vacuum in this tube, but I think I just found a way which is, I'm gonna use this copper tube and one piece of the same tube at this end that I'm gonna squish with like this little vise. So this is basically a plug now, which it fits at this end here making a pretty good seal and then I'm gonna have another tube here nicely sealed that is gonna be attached to the vacuum pump and I just tried it and I can get enough vacuum out of it so now I just need to figure out how to attach the two poles here and here and try it out wish me luck
Okay, it's all set up. Uh, I tried to look at formulas and you know calculation and stuff. I have no idea. Well, first of all, if this is gonna work, and also how long the tube can be, how uh, large can it be, like the section. I know nothing. I'm just gonna try it. It feels like it can work. Like it's a lot of voltage and amps. So if I can pull enough of a um, of a vacuum here it should work i'm just taking time because i'm a little scared to try it but i mean i checked everything a billion times i know what i'm doing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna first fire up the uh, power supply again 10,000 volts at 0 0.1 amps like 100 milliamps and then when this is hot i'm gonna fire up the vacuum pump so when the vacuum gets formed i also want to see when it starts, it should glow. How much is gonna glow? No idea. But I'm ready. Let me turn off the light. Okay. Uh, plugging the power supply. It's hot. Okay, nothing happened. I don't see anything bad going on. The light is still on, so I didn't trip anything. Okay, let's pull the vacuum now and see what happens. Okay, the power supply is off. I did see a little glow, but not as much as I was expecting. Hmm. Okay, I have a few options now. I should either shorten the tube and see if it works at all, because the vacuum was working. You know what I can do is actually do the... But it's so strange though. Well, I can uh, do the vacuum first and then plug the thing. It's the easiest test I can do right now without changing anything. Okay, vacuum first. It is at a good point. And then plug it in. In three, two, one. Nothing. I really have no idea why I can't see anything. The first test, I saw a little bit of glow. I think I just want to try if it actually, the power supply with the modification I did, if it works. So let me see. I'm going to detach one. And now I attach one of the two wires to a stick and I'm going to get close to this one and see if it actually creates uh, like a plasma getting really close to this. So I, I at least know if the power supply works. Okay, it is definitely working. Okay. Let me see if I attach now. What happens? Lights off. In three, two, one. Nothing. Oh, but there's no vacuum. Shit. Let me pull the vacuum. Sorry. Okay, let's try again. Power supply is off. If it doesn't work this time, I will have to shorten the tube. In three, two, one. Nope. It is not working. Okay, I need to think about it. Okay, now we shorten the tube. Let's see if it works. Also, we attach the wires to this, so we're just gonna do it by hand. So, just for security reason, let's see if it works. Okay, it's hot. Test. It works. Okay. In three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> so the problem was that the tube was too long. Oh my god, it's so nice. It's super bright. It's a lot brighter than I was expecting. And I can even touch it, right? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> because it was getting a little hotter the, t <laughs> the tube got a little too hot so it became it squished down so i took off this much and this was enough to make it work also i think that temperature is having a play in this i want to see how long it can be just for good measure i'm gonna try to do a little longer than this okay we're gonna try now again same deal but with a little longer tube let's see if this is gonna work test 
working. The vacuum is done. Okay, that's it. In three, two, one. Come on! Mother It's doing a little bit. Do it, do it. So maybe I need to keep it for a little bit. Oh my god, this is so cool. So did you, you see that it turned on like a little bit and then it's also not as hot as before but it feels shrinking a little bit? It is. Okay, <laughs> it's so cool. Take it off. In three, two, one. <laughs> ah, this is so cool. Like, I could do this like all day. Wait, that's actually kind of what I'm doing. But this experiment gave me a lot of data and you know point that I need to go and check why stuff happens. Also, there's a lot of smart people in this channel and probably this video is gonna attract even more. So if you have good knowledge, put your comments because it's good to share good knowledge with other people. Also, if you go down in the comments and you see nice information there, uh, do uh, the uh, thumbs up or whatever so they go up and we, we make collectively a nice collection of information. So we are gonna learn new stuff. I am super excited about this. This is great. Like I really want to get to uh, working with glass now and hopefully, I mean it's gonna take months. Like probably you're gonna see other uh, projects that they don't feel like they are related but it's actually me learning new skills to then probably in a few months be able to make one of those Geisler tubes. This is so cool. All right, go to the shop and make things because I will see you tomorrow and I thank you for watching. Ciao, ciao.